All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kodash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing his truth and sincerity. This is your brother Bashar. And last but definitely not least, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Shai, it's like it. Yahweh Shai is the name of his beloved son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit. This is how you say the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in the Paleo Hebrew, also known as the Ancient Hebrew, aka the Holy Tongue. Okay, Yahweh, meaning he exists. Yahweh Shai, meaning he saves or he delivers. Rakak Kodash is the Holy Spirit or Spirit Holy. Okay, and again, this is how you say the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Paleo Hebrew, also known as the Ancient Hebrew, aka the Holy Tongue. I'm coming at you, brothers and sisters, with a quick lesson. Not, not even a lesson, but more so of an update um, on the um, the signs that I've been seeing around my area. Now, you know, just about every day, I got to drive back and forth to work, you know, just like everybody else. Um, or most people, shall I say, or anyways, on the expressway. And this is very uncommon because I've been seeing it often. Um, you'll see military, armored military vehicles on the expressway. Um, and sometimes you'll even see, um, if you brother see the, the armored military jeep in the back, the tan one, you see a, a, a jeep parked on the side of the expressway, you know, just like on a inside of those white lines of that white line. And, you know, you wouldn't see a lot of them, but you'll see, um, like one or two or sometimes even three on the expressway and like I said this is happening kind of often um, and I uh, perceive through the spirit that this is something that they're doing to to get you brothers and sisters used to seeing so they can ease martial law in okay we know that they can bring in martial law multiple ways they can slam it and just you know cause a red flag a false flag and bring the troops in bring the vehicles in and 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 and, and, and declare martial law or they can you know ease and slowly Put more and more and more military um, troops and vehicles in the public, you know, and then you'll see, you know, if it does happen like that, then you'll see like um, laws being changed. You see, you start to see the the, um, the cops start to wither away, and the pop, the authority will, uh, you know, will hang in the hands of the uh, martial law troops. And um, this is prophecy. When you go to Second Ezra and the Apocrypha, the Book of Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, the 17th verse on down, it reads. I mean, it, it says that uh, it basically uh, prophesies uh, martial law. I'm not going to read it because I don't have my apocrypha with me. But you brothers and sisters could look it up and read it yourselves. Um, 
and basically it uh it uh prophesies the scriptures prophesy that um that, that the cities will be locked down and what do we call that today we call that martial law and this is something that is prophecy and it's also in the agenda of the elites you know they um also i mean even just recently you heard uh the uh the the used to be the the governor well he used to be the governor of new york of new york state como you know he said something along the lines of whoever doesn't have the jump shot you know shout out to the brothers out in the main camp um for that cold word <laughs> but whoever doesn't have it you know they're gonna be put into the vehicles and they are going to, going to be sent into basically a fema camp to basically um get or uh, be uh, forcefully given or even put to death for, you know, with the jump shot, you know, whether if you um, comply or, or, or not comply, they're basically just going to try to force it upon you. And, you know, some are going to allow themselves to be um, implemented with that jump shot or and and the karagma because you know that's in the scriptures Re Re revelation 13 chapter 16 verse on down you can look that up as well Bab Shah. um that's talking about the you know um the karagma you know we're not gonna you know look look up that word karagma and it's talking about the um the uh that uh, technology that they want to put inside your skin. Okay, I'm not going to say the word because, again, I'm trying to, um, you know, avoid strikes or getting, um, you know, get my channel taken down. But anyways, the point is, you know, these things are showing itself and we have to be, you know, prepared spiritually because, you know, physically, carnally, there's nothing that we can do. So spiritually, get your mind right um, and continue to read the miracles that the Lord has performed in the scriptures so you can boost your faith. Because in that time, your faith is going to have to be very, it's going to have to be, uh, you know, firm. And what Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is able to um, allow in order for you to escape, you know, and um, because uh, pursuant to Revelation, the 12th chapter, um, I believe it's the 12th verse where it speaks. Uh, the devil shall come down with great wrath and this is the prophecy as well you know we, we, we see that this uh, you know they're verbally putting it out there saying that they're running out of patience and they're also showing you that they're about to lock this place down you know uh, just uh, uh, not so long ago the president made a speech about the jump shot and how people should take it, and how this is not about freedom, this is, a, you know, and that was a, a very insightful uh, message that he, that he uh, put out there, because, you know, they do want to lock this place down, and they, and they will, it's only, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, and, um, you know, you brothers and sisters just need to be prepared, and with that, I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, the honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, 
the true elders of Israel, who rule well, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing his truth and sincerity. Also, unto you women and children, keep on enduring because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is very near. Shalom.